that what started out as a 911 call from an elementary school. 911, do you need police, fire, or medical? Police, we have, we have a person with a gun at the back of our cafeteria door trying to enter the premises. Quickly turned into a violent response by family members of students. You need to back up, six feet, come on, bro. Leave, leave. You know better. Leave, no. I'm not going nowhere leave. till I get my leave. sister. I'm not leaving. It happened on August 12th in the Phoenix, Arizona suburb of El Mirage when a 911 call came in to area authorities. It's a report by our cafeteria manager that a male with a gun was trying to enter the cafeteria doors from our rear entrance. The caller told dispatch that a suspicious person was seen outside Thompson Ranch Elementary School. We're in full lockdown. We don't know. It was reported to the front office. I'm in the front office. It was in our cafeteria, which is Distance. More than 60 officers from multiple units responded to the school within two minutes. Police! 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 Police department! First responders checked the outside of the school where the suspect was last seen and secured the inside of the school as the perimeter was set up around campus. Soon after, family members of students began to arrive. Listen, I I'm, I'm responsible for my little sister, bro. This, I, this 22-year-old Victor Castaneda was one of the first to arrive, saying he needed to see his sister. We have officers inside. Everything's safe. Your but I need to know if my sister's safe, bro. Okay. Officials assured Castaneda his sister was safe and that the suspect had never entered the school. I can promise you he didn't get into the campus. I went out the back. He did not enter our campus. Did you guys get him? He was, he's not in the school. Yeah. No alarms were set. He is not in the school. Castaneda then shook hands with the school's vice principal, principal, and a responding officer. Officials then say 22-year-old Jonathan Vincent Davis was about to scale the school's fence before officers stopped him. Did I grab you? Did I come at you? I just don't you grab, grab me. Don't put your hands on me. I'm here looking for my phone. You're putting your hands on me. Listen, my little kids are around the other side. Why can't we go this way? I want to go get my sister. You guys don't need After that, Davis began yelling that a person with a gun was at the school. Listen, you're not helping things right now. No, you're, I'm trying to you're understand. Getting, you're getting your hands off. You're getting, you're getting, you're Am I touching you? You're getting people hey. so to panic. Hey, I need don't. you to you leave. Need to back up, man. Hey. Commotion then broke out as Castaneda got involved. As officers pushed Castaneda to the ground, a concealed handgun fell from his waistband. <laughs> Officers yelled that a gun was present and tased Castaneda. He was later arrested. Davis soon began running toward officers and then was tased. <laughs> Officials with the El Mirage Police Department say the incident is still under investigation, but that Castaneda was charged with weapons violations and obstructing justice, while Davis was charged with disorderly conduct. Castaneda's mother, 48-year-old Darlene Gonzalez, was taken to a hospital and treated for injuries sustained during the event.